Am I the asshole? For wanting my fiancé to just pay the debt instead of living through her weird debt payback plan? I have about 67k in debt, between college, my car, and a little bit on my credit card. I've been making my monthly payments on all of them, but it will still be many decades before I'm debt free. My fiancé is relatively debt free. This wasn't always the case. She got a few scholarships to help with college, but did still have to take out a few loans to finish things up. She had to get a new car because the old one was cursed and was in more accidents while parked than we can count. And she did go through a manic period and almost run up her credit card in her early 20s shopping so much. However, she spent a lot of time getting her finances in order, worked multiple side gigs on top of her normal job, which I commend her for, and now is debt-free except for her mortgage, which she makes a ton of extra payments towards, and has almost 300k in investments, savings, etc. I'm very proud of her for everything she's done. Now that we're engaged, we're planning on moving in together. She had a roommate we had to wait for the lease to end on before I could move in, and she said before the wedding she wanted me to be debt-free. We chose a date three years from now, since some of her family is out of the country and needs to save, and so it will be on our seventh anniversary, both of our favorite number. She pulled out a spreadsheet of my debts, and pointed out how if I put all of my paychecks, minus maybe 200 a month for fun money into paying off my debt, I'll be debt free by the wedding. She would cover everything else the mortgage, food, bills, insurance, our pets, vacations, date nights, etc. We could then both aggressively save for that last bit of time for a nice honeymoon, and after that focus a good amount of our funds on taking out the mortgage and getting my own savings up to snuff. I thought about it for a day or so and came back with this counter offer she pays off my debts and I pay her back in a year and a half, since I wouldn't also have to be paying interest, we would put a bigger dent in the mortgage, and still stick to the timeline. She seemed unhappy with this, and said she would have to think about it first. I casually mentioned it to my friends over beer to get another perspective, and they said I'm the asshole, and they would do anything have her two-year offer to get debt free, and that even if I paid her back. I'd still be taking a 1-5 of her savings for a year and a half. So I'm here for judgment, am I the asshole? Your fiancé agreed to cover all your expenses for three years to help you pay off debt. I'd express my sincerest thanks and get ready to start your life together. Getting her to pay off your debt up front makes it sound like you're going to divorce her as soon as you're debt free. Gonna go you're the asshole. You're the asshole. She helped you create a realistic timeline to pay off your debt. You didn't need to come up with a counter offer where she pays for everything. You're the asshole. Seems like the only one who is actually getting anything out of this is you. Your fiancé pays off the debt, she spends her money on other things and saves for other things. It's your debt. It's not her responsibility. You're the asshole. You're an entitled offer not accepting her very generous offer and expecting her to do even more. Your counter offer is laughable and she would be an idiot if she agreed to it. You're the asshole. And if I were her I'd be wondering if you were trustworthy or responsible. I would be telling her to cancel the wedding if she was my relative or friend. You're the asshole. Don't blow this. There are so many guys that would be over the moon for your offer. You have a wonderful fiancé and need to listen to her. You're the asshole financially freedom and independence is clearly hugely important to her. She is being so gracious and hard working to cover all of the bills while you get your life together financially, and you want to ask for more? Also even if you want her to loan you the money, you need to get it all done in writing with strict timelines for payback and clear compensation for her when if you can't. If you can't figure out how to meet her need to a debt-free partner then end it now and let her move on to someone with similar goals. She will lose interest in the savings she gives you, so the net gain will be the difference between your debt interest and her savings interest. The big difference in the plans is that your idea makes it easier for you to scam her. You're the asshole. Yes, you're the asshole. You are asking your fiancé to pay off your debts without any kind of legal or financial commitment first. She is offering you a solid chance to pay off your debt aggressively, and the fact that you came back with a counter-proposal that she should just pay them off for you instead with no guarantee that she'll ever see that money from you afterward is concerning. Yeah you're the asshole. Her other option is to not marry you until you pay off your debt. When you get married it becomes her debt to you numbskull, smiley face, you are the one in debt, not her. Apologize and work your ass off to pay off your debt. Quite frankly after you pulled that, I would suggest to her to get a prenup. Edit to get rid of word voice to text picked up in background. You're the asshole. Her plan was thoughtful, solid, and kept your unmarried debt separate, and your counter seems to only benefit you. 
she's been working really hard to get herself into a great financial position and you basically just want her to snap her fingers to make your debt go away, while taking away from her savings trajectory. Maybe ask her to go over her spreadsheet and how she came up with the number so you can understand her thought process and get on the same page. You're the asshole. It's your debt, not hers. And your debt payback plan is the weird one, not hers. She's offering you an incredibly generous plan, and it's not enough for you? If she were my friend, I'd be advising her to consider whether you're really marriage material. Hey can you throw me your fiancé's number? I'd like to pay off my debt while living rent and bill free for a few years. Jesus Christ dude get your head out of your ass, apologize and hope she's still okay with the original deal. YTA You're the asshole. There should be no counteroffer here. She cleared her debts on her own. She is offering to support your ass while you clear your debts. That is incredibly generous. Instead of showing gratitude for her offer to support you, you counter with dumping $70,000 of your debt in her lap. Girl could do way better. I hope she figures that out before she is permanently tied to you. She would if she agreed to this. You have a sweet offer and you want more. She should bolt. You're the asshole. I'll pay you back as a promise that not many people actually honor. And it creates fights over when you're gonna pay her back. It's generous enough for her to allow you to live rent and expenses free. Take that offer. You're the asshole. She is clearly financially savvy and offered you an incredibly generous offer to support you whole you work to get out of debt before you married and your debt becomes joint debt. You should jump at that. You're the asshole for expecting her to pay off your debt now with no guarantee that she recoups that money. What if something happens to your relationship, your income, or you? She shouldn't have to assume any risk to her finances to pay off your debt. She is already being more than fair with her current offer. You're the asshole and if I were her, what I'd be thinking about isn't your ridiculous counter-proposal, but rather whether it's really a good idea to marry someone like that. You are taking her resources for granted. You're the asshole. You're twice the ah also for thinking it is okay to allow her to pay for everything do you? Might be time for you to step up and get a side hustle too. You're the asshole you're looking to use her money to solve your problems, she made you a most generous offer and instead of using that to work your own way out you're asking her to pay it for you. You're the asshole primarily because if you all split up she will have paid her debt and will probably have to sue you to get her money. I don't even like the deal as she offered BC she is getting screwed. You need to figure out how to meet your obligations and be debt free on your own and contribute to the living expenses. Your counter offer might be a bit more reasonable if you were married. Since you aren't there is literally nothing stopping you from getting her to pay off your debt and then leaving her. I'm not saying that's what you do, but you need to think about this logically from her end. You're the asshole her offer is beyond generous. She's willing to cover all of your living expenses, you focus on paying your debt. Take it or leave it don't try and take a mile or five extra. You're the asshole, wow. You're the asshole she worked off her debt now you want her to pay off yours because it's easier for you. That's brazen of you. You're responsible for your premarital debt she doesn't owe you a penny towards it but is offering to subsidize your life so you can pay it off in record time. You're the asshole. And a bullet she'd be smart to dodge. That was a lot of bullshit to wade through to get to an easy you're the asshole. I don't understand the math here. With her paying all your expenses it takes you 3 years to pay off your debt, but if she pays off your debt today then it only takes you 1.5 years to pay it back while also paying for your expenses? That doesn't make sense. It seems like an extremely generous offer on her end, I would take her up on it. You're the asshole. Your fiancé is making an incredibly kind offer to support you for two years while you pump all of your extra money into paying down your debt. You're now arguing with her about that? Seriously? What are you thinking? You're the asshole she still has to be somewhat protected against taking on your debt, and she proposed a very generous plan to get you out of debt without her draining her savings to accomplish that. Why did you feel the need to ask for even more? You're the asshole. If I'm your fiancé I'm looking at this as a huge red flag because you clearly aren't on the same page and furthermore expect her to fund your debt for an extended period. Her plan isn't weird, hust hardcore but given how much debt you have, it's a good plan. You're the asshole her plan isn't simply to get you debt free, but to teach you be more fiscally responsible. You are asking her to assume all the risk, trusting that you'll pay her back, while she'll still lose money due to lower returns and extra taxes. And if you ever decide to break up or not repay, she'll be doubly screwed. She already gave you an amazing deal, take it. You're the asshole if I were your fiancé, 
my response would be hell no. They gave you an offer, take it or leave it. Don't insult them by calling their plan weird when it's actually incredibly generous. Your counteroffer is actually the weird plan because it's wildly entitled exactly WTF do they get out of your plan? Or